Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your monthly general reading. This is going to be for the end of August through the month of September 2020, okay? Now please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading, and always, Cancer, remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Okay? Now, you guys, a quick reminder, I am battling allergies right now, so I'll be clearing my throat. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just have to bear with me, okay? All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? All right. Ooh. All right, we have the energy of anger coming up here. And that's okay. You know, this talks about... There's a need here for you to release some pent up, some anger, okay, that you are holding within. You need to let it out. You need to honor your feelings, okay, even, even anger, all right? Some of you need to just scream from the top of your lungs, okay, until you can't scream no more, all right? Whatever this anger is that you're holding in, Cancer, okay? If you're holding this in and not letting it out, then you're not allowing yourself to heal from whatever caused this anger, okay? And I'll read this in just a moment. Let me go ahead and get your cards shuffled and laid out, and we will dive in, all right? Okay, Spirit, Spirit wants me to pull another one because that message isn't for... A lot of you okay so we have possibility coming up here as as well all right thank you spirit okay Ooh, navigating by the stars follow your bliss all right Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Cancer need to know? Through the rest of August, through the month of September 2020, what messages do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Thank you, Spirit. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know, Spirit? Okay. Okay. We are ready. Situation. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. In your foundation, we have the Hanging Man. Recent past energy, we have the Seven of Cups. Crowning you is the King of Wands. New opportunity is the Two of Swords. What you need to know is the Ten of Wands. And your environment is the Nine of Pentacles. Your advice from Spirit, Knight of Swords. Your outcome energy. Five of Swords. All right. Okay, so I see here, for a few of you, there's a need for you to stand up for yourself, okay? And not back down, all right? So, I definitely see that there is, you know, this could be a relationship problem. This could be between you and your kids, grown kids, friends, um, it could be many, many different things, okay? Because there are so many of you watching. But I see you putting your foot down and putting a stop to it. You're, you know, you're like, you're not going to do me this way no more, okay? And that's good, Cancer, because you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself, all right? If you're running around taking care of other people, you know, that I feel like they're taking advantage of your generosity, your kindness, and it's just not right. All right, so we have 
The number 77 coming up here, you guys. I always tell you, Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. All right, so let's start here. We have anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. And that's right. Even that anger, any emotion you have, it's sacred because it's yours. Okay? Like I said, Cancer, for who this message is for, it's going to be important that you allow yourself to release and feel this anger. Okay? And, and once you do this, I know you don't want to because <laughs> nobody wants to, you know, deal with it because it's, it's, you don't want to think about it. That's why you've been stuffing it down, not wanting to deal with it. I promise you, the sooner you deal with it, okay, the quicker the healing process, okay, can start. <clears throat> Give me just a moment. You know, Cancer, take this take this anger and transmute it into something that's going to benefit you, okay? Because you have that power within you to be the alchemist, okay? Don't let this sit too long within because it can really cause health problems, okay? It can cause anxiety. It can cause all kinds of things. Go somewhere where it's quiet, where you're by yourself. Scream to the top of your lungs. Let it out. Do what you got to, okay? Feel it. All right? And then call out. Call out to your archangels to help start the healing process within your heart chakra, okay? I can feel it. Whatever this is, it, it's very painful. And it's anger. It's that anger pain, okay? And that's not a good that's not good to have. Alright, that's the stuff ulcers are made of right there. Okay. And strokes. Literally. That's <laughs> uh, I'm I'm serious. When you get that angry and that upset, you know, it raises your blood pressure, your heart rate, it upsets your stomach. <clears throat> It's not good. All right, so Spirit told me to pull another uh, oracle. Possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Beautiful. You guys, if some of you have been selling yourself short, all right, turn it around. Know your worth. Raise your standards. Okay? You know, again, I'm getting, don't let someone walk all over you. This could be a boss. Okay? Or a manager. Or... Someone you work for. Those of you that are up for a promotion, a pay raise, anything like that. Or maybe there's an opportunity that's opening up, okay, where, you know, if, if you could get that position, you'd be making a lot more money. And to top it off, that's something you would enjoy doing. A closed mouth doesn't get fed cancer, okay? You got to go for it. You got to ask. You got to speak up. You tell them what you want okay own it the spirit's saying right here you have unlimited potential okay and whether you see it or realize it or not I guarantee you the people that are around you already know this alright so we have navigating by the stars 
Follow your bliss. I love it. Go after what makes you happy, Cancer. Spirit's got your back, okay? Some of you, this is a career change, okay? Uh, you're in between jobs. Just know that you are being cared for, okay? You're being divinely guided and you are protected. Some of you are taking a break. Some of you are going after a dream, a wish. You're realizing it's within reach here. It's achievable and you're going after it. And it makes you happy. It's something you have passion for. Now you have the Seven of Pentacles as your situation, okay? You know, this is an energy of you really taking time out here to think about the wisest way to invest your money, okay? Are you going to invest it in yourself? Maybe going back to school, maybe getting a certificate, uh, maybe starting a business. Or are you going to take a pinnacle or two and invest it in someone else? Or maybe invest it in stocks? Or you, you see where I'm going with this. I feel like, you know, whatever you have been wanting to invest in, this is a very lucky time. You have the green light cancer. You know, what I'm getting here from my guides is, you know, go ahead and do it because it's going to pay off. You're going to reap some material gain from this investment, okay, no matter what it is. This might be you playing scratch-offs, lottery tickets. <clears throat> the Hanging Man. This is in, excuse me, I'm trying to sneeze. I am so sorry, you guys. Bless my heart. I know that's gross. <laughs> Bless my heart. All right. The hanging man is in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. Okay? The hanged man talks about gaining mystical empowerment, where you're at the point where you're seeing the truth for what it really is. Sometimes this truth that's being discovered is within you or it's within others. Okay? And, you know, I feel like this is what's allowing for you to be able to release and let go of anything or anyone that is no longer, you know, serving your, your, your best interest, okay? Or, or people that have your back. I feel like you're discovering these truths and you're seeing you know, people in situations from a different perspective. And I feel like it's going to make it easier on you when you make the decision, okay, to let go of some people in your life that are negative or toxic, all right, or just don't have your back or your best interest at heart, Cancer, okay? You know what? This has been coming up a lot in a lot of the readings, and I just I don't like this. People should not be ugly, but it's just the way it is. And uh, bless your heart, I'm sorry that you have people like that around you, okay? If that message is for you. You deserve better than that, Cancer. Just know that. Know your worth. You are a beautiful, psychic, you know, spiritual, all right, individual that has emotions that run deep, okay? And it's anybody that has hurt you or betrayed you or not treating you right. It's their loss, okay? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you are giving up bad habits. You're changing your, your uh, diet. Some of you are going vegetarian or vegan. You're paying attention to what you're feeding your body as well as what you're feeding your soul. That's why you're letting go of toxic people. <clears throat> you're shifting. You're going through a, a spiritual shift here. Seven of Cups in your recent past. Okay. You know, I feel like for some of you, you you've been overwhelmed. Okay. There's been some offers or opportunities that came in. And I, I feel like you're still weighing your options here. Okay. It could have to do with this investment. But just know, as long as you weigh your pros and cons and make a list, you know, and you make the best, you know, decision that's going to be for the betterment of your situation, then there is no wrong choice, right? 
But I do feel like some of you, this is that, you've got a lot to choose from here. Don't get caught up in thinking you're going to make the wrong choice and that's what's keeping you stuck from making a decision. Because I see that here as your new opportunity being stuck at a crossroads with that two of swords. Now you have the king of wands in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about, Cancer. Whether you're male or female, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is a powerful and bold energy. This is that go-getter, that entrepreneur, that business, you know, that boss, that leadership type energy right here. You know, whatever this king of wands desires, has passion for, he goes after it and he doesn't let anything or anyone stop it, okay? He's going to get it done. You know, some of you could be, like I said, getting a pay raise, a promotion, moving up within the company, climbing the ladder to success right here. I feel like some of you are going to invest in a home business, okay? And, you know, it, it's going to be very, very successful. And there's a lot of self-confidence right here that's coming through, a lot of courage, a lot of strength. The spirit of perseverance definitely is in this energy. Cancer, you got this, okay? You got this. When you can have, when you can be in the um, embodying and, and be in the element of water, which that is, you know, what you are connected with, okay? And have fire as well. I'm going to tell you something. There isn't anything that you cannot do, okay? <laughs> For real. I feel like people are attracted to your vibe, your energy, you know, your aura just shines bright and, you know, people respect you. When you speak, they listen, all right? Now we have the Two of Swords, all right? This is being stuck at a crossroads. This is in the position of what's, uh, is what your, um, goodness gracious, your new opportunity. I was wanting to say something else. This is your new opportunity. And I feel like with the Two of Swords being in this position, I feel like this is you going ahead and making a choice, all right? Making that decision, taking that blindfold off, and, you know, moving forward. And what you're finding out is, is that wall that you felt was, you know, keeping you blocked has lifted now, okay? And all, all this time, all you had to do was... Go ahead and put your foot down, make the decision, and move forward. You already knew in your heart, I feel like, in your soul cancer, what the answer was, okay? what You already knew what you were going to do. I feel like you hesitated because you didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or there was something there, okay? You guys going to have to leave me a comment and let me know what that means to you. Now, this message right here isn't going to be for all of you, all right? <clears throat> So just keep that in mind. Remember, you guys, with each energy, it can be a whole different situation, all right? Now, we have the Ten of Wands coming up here, and this is in the position of what you need to know. And this is you releasing, letting go of a heavy load, a burden, okay? You're passing this off to, some, to whose responsibility this is, okay, for one. And others of you, you're just you're letting it go. All right, you're done. You're closing the door to this cycle, this season you've been in. It, it's been, you know, it's been a lot on you, okay? It, it definitely has felt like it's wore you down in a way, all right? And it's over. And I feel like you're closing this door and you're immediately, okay, walking through a new door. So you had something planned. This could have been a backup job. A side job and I'm still saying business you guys I'm still getting a business but I see you being re-inspired that passion being reignited okay and you starting a new journey and doing something that you have passion for instead of doing something that you just hate you you have to force yourself to get up and go to work okay I see you leaving that energy behind and going after something new and fresh Something that inspires you, that allows your creativity to, to flow. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is in your environment. This is independence. This is being self-reliant. You know, achievement here. Material harvest. 
this is that business type energy right here. And I definitely feel like for some of you, you're starting a business from home, okay? And it's going to be very successful. It's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of you, Cancer. It's going to bring in steady flow of income, and you're not going to want for nothing, all right? Now you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is advice from Spirit right here, okay? Spirit says, you know, stand your ground. Don't back down. Use power with intent. Use uh, clear communication. Be straightforward. Now this could represent any situation, okay, in your life. This could be you, you know, needing to stand up for yourself and ask for that promotion or that pay raise, okay? Now, for others of you that, you know, have been arguing with someone, it's causing this anger over here, you know, Spirit is saying, stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground. Set some boundaries. I feel like some of you are going to be doing more than setting boundaries. You're just going to be like, bye, get out. That's what I'm getting right here. Well, you guys are going to have to leave me a comment let me know what that means to you. Now, you have the Five of Swords as your outcome energy as well, Cancer. Again, you know, I always say with this energy, pick and choose your battles wisely. But sometimes you've got to stand up for yourself and you've got to speak the truth. And this is one of those times. All right? And I feel like you really let someone have it. And I feel like they deserved it. Okay? I feel like they had it coming. I feel like there's relief here. I know it's the Five of Swords, but I'm getting relief. Okay? I'm getting relief right here. That anger has finally been, you know, it, it's gone. Okay? It's been released. All right? This is like a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders. Cancer, please let me know who this is that you are battling with, arguing with, conflict with, okay? Let me know, you guys. All right, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. There was a lot going on here, you guys. Many different situations. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.